Hey, how's it going guys? Got another backpack review for you. This time around we're going to talk about the North Face Solaris 35. Uh, this particular bag I took with me on a road trip through Death Valley in Southern California. Uh, so based on my experiences with that, I'm going to tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, and hopefully that will give you a better idea of what you'll want when you do your own backpack shopping. Alright, so let's get started. As the name suggests, the Solaris 35 holds 35 liters of volume inside of it. Uh, we'll start with the suspension. Shoulder straps. Shoulder straps are comfortable. Um, nice, didn't feel any discomfort after like hiking for a while with this pack. The only issue I have with it is that they're a bit too thick. Backpack companies make the mistake of over padding their uh, shoulder straps. Um, what you want to do to make them more comfortable is just have them positioned correctly and shaped correctly to your body type. Uh, I would rather have that these straps were about half the thickness. It just felt like I had two sponges over my shoulders. Not uncomfortable, but it just felt a little bit bulky. The waist belt is comfortable and secures tightly over the top of my hips. Uh, felt strong and it was really good at uh, distributing the weight towards my hips. So no issues there. You have a front loading pocket right here which is flat and it actually extends this whole panel as you can see right here. Uh, it's larger actually than the front panel pockets of a lot of bigger backpacks so you can actually store larger documents here without having to fold them over. You have side mesh pockets on either side of the bag and side pockets on either side of the bag. And this brings me to one of the features that I really like about it is the compression straps that you have on the side. If you'll notice, instead of a compression strap at the top and a compression strap on the side, you have a single strap that starts at the middle, goes through this loop, and then fastens at the top. That means instead of having to worry about two dangling lines in the middle and then in the top, you have one line to worry about, so it reduces the clutter that you have. And because it's a single strap that tightens it, when this bag isn't full, it flattens really well. If you'll notice right here, the first six inches of the top of the bag are completely flat. So if you don't have your bag fully loaded, it compresses upon itself and it's very sleek. Um, I like that a lot. Some other backpack designs that have it where if the bag isn't full, the extra volume will kind of fold over itself and be dangly and you'll have kind of a floppy bag. Uh, but not with this one. This one actually cinches up really tight and it feels really secure. So whether you have it fully loaded or not, you're going to feel like you have a well-strapped, compact, compact, tight bag of it up against your body. The side pockets are decent in volume. If you'll notice here, they start at the top and it loads all the way to the bottom right here. So that's nice, you can actually put quite a bit of gear. One issue I did have with the side pockets, however, let me see if I can open the main compartment, is that they don't extend from the main part of the bag. They actually share space with the main compartment. So when you're loading stuff in here, you're actually taking up room in the main compartment. Uh, so the 35 liters is for the, this compartment and the side pockets. Um, I wish I had the option of these extending out from the main body, but some people might actually like that. It might keep you honest uh, and make you stick to the restrictions. Uh, it's just human nature. If you are given a bag, you're going to try to fill up all the space that you're giving. So that might be a good thing for you. Um, also, the good thing about having the side pockets not extend from the outside of the bag is when it is secure and closed up, there's no bulky protrusion sticking out of it. It is one nice, sleek compartment. Uh, that makes it easier for you to cram this into certain areas. Uh, for example, you'll have an easy time fitting this into the frame at the airport that lets you know whether or not you can bring it on as a carry-on on the plane. Easy. And also, because it doesn't have any weird protrusions sticking out of it, you can easily fit this underneath the seat of your plane. Um, you're not going to need to stick it in the overhead compartment unless you start attaching things on the outside of it. Also, however, one issue I did have is with the side compression uh, straps, I wish it started at the bottom and then fed to the top instead of starting at the middle because I wish they would secure the top of this mesh pocket. Uh, it's elastic and it holds things pretty securely. I could stick a water bottle and I wouldn't be afraid of it spilling out. However, by having the compression strap cinch over the top of this, I would feel a little bit more secure in sticking things like slippers or sneakers or, say, a jumper that I didn't want to lose. So, yeah, I. All they'd have to do is just like have this secure from the bottom instead of from the middle, and I'd, I'd like it so much more. The waist strap also has a secure line similar to this compression strap in that it tightens the waist strap to the pack and loops over itself so that you have less lines to deal with. So 
good job on the strap design. Uh, they just need to work on the positioning for the compression strap and it would be perfect. There is top and bottom access for the bag into the main compartment with a divider. However, the divider is not a zip. The divider is secured by these two loops. Um, I don't like that. It should be a zipper because the fact that it's only secured by these two loops, whatever gear you put in the top compartment is going to actually go through these holes right here through the divider and come into the bottom compartment. So, I mean, you might want to have something like, say, a stuff sack for the dirty clothes. And this divider is just to let you know where the partition is. It's not really going to keep anything from the top from spilling out to the bottom. Uh, so, yeah, this should be a zipper. That's just my opinion. Interior of the bag. Good job for North Face for recognizing that uh, the coloring should be bright. Uh, by the way, I like the outside coloring of the bag. The charcoal and black with the orange highlights is a good idea. Uh, I like it because it's subtle. It, uh, you're less likely to stand out too. Many companies like to make their bags brightly colored yellow, red, orange. And uh, you're going to have a hard enough time as a tourist sticking out. Uh, you might as well not have your bag helping to advertise it. The interior of the bag is actually the reverse. You want a bright color uh, interior because when you're picking through stuff in the interior bag, you want that bright color to give you a contrast so you can see things. Some pe a lot of backpacking companies will have a black interior and it's harder to see your stuff, especially when you come into your hostel or campsite or hotel room in the middle of the night. That light, bright color helps. So that's a good thing. Right here, you have the hydration pouch to stick your hydration bladder inside. Uh, if you don't use it, um, you can use this as a separator line for storing different gearing, helping to separate stuff. On the panel flap that comes out, you notice that there are these little pockets for sticking pens, papers, and pencils, and stuff like that. The thing I don't like about it is, when you open the bag and it's upright, when this flaps over, whatever you have is going to fall out. I would much rather have this be a zipper pocket. Um, a lot of backpacking companies m do this mistake with their bags is they'll put this kind of pen and pencil paper setup on the panel part of the bag instead of against the back where it'll be upright. And so nobody uses this because when you open it up, it slips over. They'd be much better served by having this as a zip pocket. Um, the bag is really durable. I took it with me and I had, didn't have any trouble. The material itself is a ripstop nylon and the bottom is a coarser, thicker, more durable uh, fabric. It feels like canvas, but uh, I'm sure it's a high impact nylon. Uh, but yeah, well designed, good materials. Um, there's just a few issues that I have with it. If uh, they fix that, this would not only be a good bag, it would be a great bag. So. That's my review of the North Face Solaris 35. Hope you liked it, and uh, have a nice day. Thanks, guys. Bye.